Cassidy. I'm from GC Divers. Oh, that's awesome. I remember GC. I'm from the Woodlands, Texas, so that's pretty close to you. Um, I wanted to talk to you because you're in Texas and you're an Olympian. That's awesome, and I'm here to answer any questions you might have. Uh, I have some questions here. Uh, the first one is, uh, why did you start diving? Um, I started diving because at the time, um, all my older sisters did it, so I was kind of raised on the pool deck. And as soon as I was able to swim, I started diving. So I started diving when I was three years old, and it, it became like a family sport. Um, and I've stuck with it ever since. Okay. And my second question was, is there anyone you looked up to you and you're my age? Yes, when I was your age, I really looked up to my older sister because she was a really great diver. And obviously we were training together every day and you know, she was six or seven years older than me. So she was a really good role model to have. And then also as I started to um, get better and watch more diving, Laura Wilkinson was one of my good heroes and, and Guo Jingjing from China who uh, was a springboard diver that won the Olympics. Um, so those were like my three main inspirations when I was little. I saw when I was looking at uh, what events you've been doing, you seem to do a three meter a lot more than you did 10 meter. Yeah, so um, I did platform and both platform and springboard for a long time. Um, but when I was a freshman in high school, like after that year, I hurt my back. And so I stopped doing platform and just focused on springboard because I was starting to excel in both, but in order to get really good at one, I knew I needed to focus on, um, you know, on just one board if I wanted to make the Olympics. And so I, I chose springboard um, mostly because of my body and also because um, it was more fun for me and I felt like I would be better at it um, longer down the road. So what do you like? Do you like springboard or do you like platform? I like springboard probably because I do it more. Yeah. And springboard's fun. I like being on the bouncy thing. And I think it, it takes a different skill set than platform. I've only done a little bit of platform because mm -hmm. the platform closest to us is at uh, SMU. So mm -hmm. that's pretty far. Yeah, that's the way it was for me too. Like after our pool was torn down in 2008, we had to go to University of Houston or Texas A&M for platform. And then that's also part of the reason why I stopped doing platform because we didn't have platforms at our pool. What's your favorite dive? I like... Um, Front one and a half pike on a one meter. Oh, that's awesome. I remember doing that dive a lot. Before this COVID-19 thing happened, we were working on two and a half on three. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I remember learning that dive. It's a really fun dive. It's not as scary as you think it is. I don't like it. You don't like it? Well, the more you do it, the more you'll like it. You just gotta get over that, that learning curve because I know learning a dive can be really scary. What was your favorite subject in school? Um, I really liked science. So one of my favorite classes was chemistry, which I took in 10th grade, um, just because I thought it was really cool how you, you could learn about all these things that aren't like common knowledge. And also I like to experiment with the, with the chemicals in class. Like one time we made ice cream in chemistry class out of like, um, I forget what it was, but it was really cool to be able to make ice cream out of, out of a science experiment. <laughs> My favorite subject is math. Oh, really? That's awesome. I liked math too, but you know, as I got older, math got harder and, um, and I really, really excel at the other parts. But what kind of math is your favorite math? Are you, what grade are you in? Fifth. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So you're doing like multiplication and division? No. No, not yet. I'm doing algebra one. Oh, wow. Algebra one in fifth grade? Yeah. That's impressive. I think I took algebra one in seventh grade. So that's, that's really awesome. Do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I have two black labs and their names are Zoe and Bentley and I love them very much. How big are they? Um, they're probably 40 pounds. Well, one of them's a little chubbier than the other. She likes to eat, she eats anything. She, she eats the flowers in her front yard. Um, <laughs> so she's a little bit bigger than the other one. Um, but they're probably, they're medium sized dogs. I like big dogs. We have a big dog. Oh, really? What's his name or her name? And what kind of dog is it? A Vishla. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. One of my, one of my best friends and also who was a diver, Sam Dorman has a Vishla. He's getting kind of old. Yeah. 
So is Zoe. Zoe has like a gray beard and some gray paws now. It's funny. The reason our dog is, looks really gray is because he almost choked on a potato. Oh my gosh, a whole, a whole potato? A small one, yeah. He just, oh my gosh. That's so funny. Sounds like, she, sounds like he's a lot like Bentley, likes to eat. I saw you got in the um, Stanford. Mm-hmm, yes. Did you like it? Uh, I loved it, yeah. So I graduated from Stanford in 2018, and it was a great experience. I really love that school. It's really, really, really in a beautiful place, and it had a great diving program and swimming as well. And I went there with a lot of other Olympians, like, Simone Manuel and Katie Ledecky and and so I was always surrounded by people that were working really hard and I think that helped contribute to my hard work as well because when you're surrounded by people that work hard and are trying to accomplish great things it motivates you to do that as well. What and did, also great school academically so I feel like I, uh, I picked a good balance between athletic and academics. What degree did you get when you um, graduated from I graduated with a degree in communications and, and marketing. So I really, I was working for a little bit, but then I decided to keep diving. But I would really like to work in, you know, social media marketing for a sports team or a sports organization one day. I think that would be really fun and something that I'm passionate about. What are you doing mainly? Because you don't have like the pool, normal pool you go dive at. So I've been trying to keep on top of my diving fitness. So every day, um, my club team, the Woodlands Diving Academy, has a Zoom workout. So that's like what we're doing right now. So our coaches and all of our teammates will come up on here and they'll guide us through a workout and some modeling and some stretching. And then we'll watch some film or, or have special guest speakers. Um, like last Friday, Greg Luganis came on to our call and, and he, he spoke to us for a little bit and gave us some motivation, motivational words. Um, I've also been, <clears throat> you know, just doing what I can with with uh with what i have so i have a pool in my backyard so i'll go in there and play around and work on pike saves or do some backflips off the side of the pool but mostly just trying to keep up with my with my diving through visualization or stretching and, and keeping a good attitude um there's a lot of ways that you can you can practice diving without actually practicing it and, and whether that's you know watching the olympic events on the tv or watching film or, or watching old videos of yourself diving um, there's so many ways that you can still keep up with your diving fitness during this, um, during this COVID-19 um, pandemic. Our coach has us, uh, she called, uh, we have a Zoom on Tuesday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. It's fun because she sends us workout and we do them with each other on there. Oh, that's awesome. See, that's a great idea because then you still get to see your teammates and see your coaches, even though you're not actually seeing them. So it, it makes it feel a little bit more normal. What are your favorite dives? Um, I really like reverses because um, I feel like those are one of my stronger um, categories. So I, I like reverse two and a half pike on three meter and reverse one and a half pike on one meter. Um, and I also really like uh, full out because I feel like that's kind of my bread and butter dive. It's a dive that I know I can always rely on in a competition if, um, if the pressure's on and I need to hit something. What's a full out? It's a front two and a half with a full twist. Oh. Huh. Yeah. You, I'm sure you'll learn that one day. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty fun dive. It's a little scary to learn at first because the twisting comes after two flips instead of one. But once you get the hang of it, it it's really fun. How old are you now? Are you 11 or 10? 11. Awesome. So you would be an 11 and under. Yeah. Awesome. And what have you been doing to keep up with your diving during during the quarantine? Well, we our coach sends us workouts, and my mom prints them out. Mm -hmm. So we did the Zoom. Thing. Well, I hope you're staying safe and healthy over there. I've been trapped at home. Yeah, me too. I've been doing lots of puzzles and reading lots of books. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of video games. Oh, yeah? What's your favorite video game? Um, me and my dad have been playing Cave Story on the Switch. And on the iPad, we play a lot of Roblox. Oh, that's fun. Nice little father-daughter time. I've been trying to get my mom and my dad to play Minecraft with me. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, they don't want to. <laughs> I can't say that I've ever played Minecraft, but I know a lot of my teammates like it. Mm -hmm.